Every week, thousands of New Zealanders listen to a radio quiz, It's in the Bag. This is the story of one edition of the show and the people who put it on the air. Director and compere of the program is Selwyn Toogood, his recording engineer Ted Thorpe and producer Brian Petrie. On Friday night, they're playing Lower Hutt's Town Hall, and today, while Ted and Brian are working in their recording studio, Selwyn will prepare material for the show. Morning, Pamela. Morning, Mr. T. How did you enjoy the play last night? I really enjoyed it, thank you. Are the questions all ready for tomorrow night's show at the Hut? Yes, I've given them to Sandy. Good girl. Uh, what fiendish ideas have we dreamt up for the booby prizes for tomorrow night? I've got a packet of Epsom salts, a bone, and a duck. Oh, that looks exciting. I do hope nobody wins it. Why? Because I want it. Well, I hope you get it. I must go and do some work. Selwyn's first job is to run through the questions with the man who sets most of them, stage manager Sandy Triggs. Is that them all there? Yes, I think all the ones we need. What would you like first, the categories? Yes, let's have a look at those. Well, what's the spelling one, Sandy? Well, I haven't made up my mind definitely. There are two there, Selwyn, commission and taxidermy. Well, they're fairly simple. I don't think even Petrie and Thorpe could answer those. <laughs> right now, Ted Thorpe and Brian Petrie couldn't be less interested in spelling. They are far too busy preparing a programme for broadcast. Nearly all Selwyn shows are recorded several weeks before going on the air. And as producer, Brian Petrie must choose highlights from each recording and from them make a fast-moving, entertaining quiz. Which brings us back to the show we're following and another question that may be asked. Now, this geography question, I think it has an alternative answer. Well, would you check that one, please, Sandy? Yes, all right, Selwyn. What would you suggest? Oh, uh, Webster's. Have a look at Webster's Geographical. I think that'll give it to you. As good as yeah, any. Yeah, right here. But it'll be sure of these things. There it is. Yes, so put the alternative in, will you? All right. So that I don't yeah. forget, because otherwise I will. That gives us a double check, then. Now, Sandy, what about... Is that the Glamour Prize? Yes, that's right, Selwyn. Here they are. OK, well, somebody can win a Foodorama on the strength of them. And that, of course, is the reason people enter the quiz, to win a prize. Some of the washing machines in this Auckland factory will be earmarked for the show. In fact, contestants can win just about anything a family likes to have in the home, and the prizes are made all over New Zealand. A motor mower is a pretty fair reward for knowing who won the Grand National in 1953, and a radio or radiogram could go to a contestant with a working knowledge of nursery rhymes. Once contestants win a bag, the choice is theirs. They can take what's in it, or whatever money Selwyn offers them for it. And since Selwyn doesn't know what's in the bag, he may be offering £50 for a packet of Epsom salts. But he could be offering £50 for a combination refrigerator and home freezer, like one of these. Off the production lines come all sorts of prizes, great big ones and very small ones. In their various shapes and sizes, they go into the hall before the show. The stage is almost set and £1,500 worth of prizes stand on it in tempting array. A final touch is given to this and that, and Ted checks over his sound gear. Soon the show will be on. Well, good evening, Lower Hut. It's very nice to be here doing it in the bag for you, and of course, before we can do one of these shows, we must have competitors. So those of you who would like to be in It's in the Bag, would you just make your way up on the stage, up that uh, stairway there, and that stairway there. Thank you, and then we'll put some elimination questions to you. Madame du Barry was she the mistress of Louis the Thirteenth on that side, Louis the Fifteenth in the middle, or Louis the Sixteenth on that side? These. Now all decided, all made up your minds. Well, Madame du Barry was the mistress, and I don't mean the schoolmistress, of Louis the Fifteenth. So all you people back to your seats, you people back to the seats, and you people in the middle are all in the show. And you are? Elsa England. Mrs. England, is it? Yes. Hello, Mrs. England. There'll always be in England, won't there? I should hope so. That's the girl. What are you doing towards it? Three sons. Three sons that'll always be in England. Sure there will. <laughs> what name is given to the seed of an apple? Pit. That's right. By what title is the King of Persia known? Shah. Mincing Lane is associated with the wholesale trade in tea, salt, or soap? Tea. 
He, she's right. Three in a row. Mincing Lane is T. That's right. Now, which category are you taking? Spelling. Spelling. Ooh, it's a stinker. <laughs> Ready? Okay. I want you to spell the word commission. Okay, all right. Okay. You laugh, you try it yourself when you get home. Commission. C-O-M-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. -S -S you wizard. Of course it's that, C-O-M-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. And you said you weren't good at spelling. Look, nobody's taking money tonight. Ha Look, it's all good. We just got it off the printing press at home. <laughs> Look, will you take what's there? <laughs> Instead of the bag. You won't? No, the bag. Okay, you take the bag. That's fine and dandy. Let's see what's in it. We'll count that in a minute and see how much was there. They'll always be in England. They'll always be in England. And while there's an England, there'll be little Englands. And while we have little Englands, they'll remember it's in the bag for always because you have turned down all that money. For a toy duck. What's your name, sir? Frank Owen. Hello, Frank. What name is given to a thin slice of bacon or ham? Rasher. Or actor, that's right. What is a zinnia? A flower. The word bowl, B-O-L-E, is the name given to what part of a tree? The trunk. The trunk or the stem? He's got three in a row. What category are you taking, Frank Owen? Geography. Geography. He's good at geography. You people uh, good at geography? I know a little about now. Well, well, okay. Let's see what we get for geography. What was the city of Istanbul, formerly known as? Constantinople. Constantinople, that's right. Where's his bag, Sandy? You heard me get to 51 pounds. I did. You heard a booby prize go, but all the big prizes are still there. That's one of the booby prizes out of the way. I'll offer you 36 pounds of money or the bag. The bag. 37. The bag. He's shaking, customers. <laughs> He's shaking. At 37 pounds, our cinema audience, what should you do, customers, the money or the bag? They're saying take the bag in the cinema. Good advice. What are you going to do? Take the bag? The bag. I'll make it 42.15, the money of the bag, at 42 pounds 15. You can do a lot with that, couldn't I? You could do with a lot with it. What would it be at 42.15? The bag. The bag at 42 pounds 15. They're going, they don't want the money in the hut tonight. You, you want to tell him, want me to tell him what it is? Have a look at the lawn roll semi-automatic spin-dry washing machine because that's yours. That's yours. There it is. Thank you very much, Ellen. Thank you very much it. indeed to you, Frank. Good. Thank you kindly. All right, Adam, come up to the microphone and tell us your name, please. Good morning, Moon. Let's see if we can get you with three in a row. Does the kauri pine occur in New Zealand only? No. You're correct. What is a teal? It's a duck. That is right. In the army, does a major general rank above or below a lieutenant general? Below. She's got three in a row. That's fine. Now give us your category. Spelling. Spelling. What are you taking? Spelling. spelling. Now let's see if you're good at spelling. Are you good at spelling? Not bad. Not bad. That's jolly good. Spell taxidermy. T-A-X-I-D-E-R-M-Y. You're right. That is right. Where's the bag, Sandy? Bag number one. I'm Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Moon, is it? Miss Moon. Now I'm going to offer you the sum of... Um, 15 pounds 10. The bag. 17 10. The bag. 23 15. The bag. 29 16 4. The bag. 30 pounds 2. The bag. 34 15. The bag. 35 pounds. Of the money. The money at 35. Okay. No, she said the money. She said the money. She's a woman who makes up her mind and decides and goes to it. Oh, now you'll never guess. Do you do any of the housework at home? A little. Well, look, we've got a polish a scrubber. Yes, that's what it is, a polish, a scrubber. Now, it's a new prize that we haven't had in the bag before, and uh, I haven't read through the prize list, so you weren't to know that that was there. Would you rather take the polish, a scrubber, than the 35 pounds? No, I'd rather have the 35 pounds. Okay, please. because uh, that is the polish, a scrubber. It's just an ordinary <laughs> old scrubbing brush. But there you are. Very well, Mrs. Moon. Miss Moon, you've got your 35 pounds. Thank you kindly. I would like to thank you for being such a splendid audience. We've enjoyed being with you. We hope you've enjoyed having us. We hope we'll be back sometime to see you all again. Good night.